Hey guys, my name's Nathan coming to you from Melbourne town in Australia. Today I'm going to teach you how to play every breaking wave on the piano. This is the piano acoustic version that Bono and Edge have been playing in America on all the late shows in the last few weeks. And it's also on the disc number two of the deluxe edition of Songs of Innocence. I've had a few people request a tutorial on how to play it. If you haven't seen my cover yet, feel free to click the link and have a watch. And then uh, come back and learn how to play it yourself. Alright, to start off with, the left hand is extremely simple. Um, Edge will just play one note in the left hand, the bass note, for four counts. And it goes in the order of A for four, one, two, three, four, and C sharp, one, two, three, four, down to the E, one, two, three, four, and up to the B, one, two, three, four. And it follows that pattern through the whole introduction, all of the verses, and the chorus as well. Uh, the only time that will change is when we get to the bridge. In the right hand, the left hand does its thing. The right hand is quite simple as well, and it's pretty easy to put the two together. But the right hand on its own, we start with our pointer finger on the E and our thumb on the C sharp, and we alternate between those two notes for four counts. Pointer finger stays on the E, and we reach up and hit the G sharp with your ring finger. One, two, three, four, and then we go four more counts. So the bass note will change from a C sharp to an E, but the right hand stays the same. One, two, three, four, and then when the bass note changes to a B, we will play with our middle finger, the F sharp and with your thumb or your pointer finger, that E flat, for four more counts. One, two, three, four. So together it will sound like this. Sometimes Edge will reach up when he's playing on the F sharp and the E flat. He'll sometimes reach up to the B, just to make it a bit more interesting. So that would sound like this. All that's played through twice and then it's straight into the chorus. Nothing changes for a while except Bono singing. He'll come in every breaking way on the shore. Tells the next one there'll be one more. And it does that the whole way through the verse. And then we play chords through the chorus and then we go back to that same pattern that we just learned for verse 2. Alright, onto the chorus. Here, we're just playing chords, or I play chords through the song. Um, Edge mixes it up a little bit, but the left hand will just go through the same bass notes as before, through the A, the C sharp, the E, and the B. And the right hand will play those chords, the A, C sharp minor, the E, and the B. So we start off with an A, thumb on the A, middle finger on the C sharp and little finger on the E. If you go and there's the left hand reaches up to the C sharp. All that changes in the right hand is the thumb moves from the A to the A flat to make a C sharp minor chord. Change to an E chord. All that we have to change now is from middle finger on the C sharp lift that up and put the pointer finger on the B instead and change the bass note. Yo and I'll go mine and on mine he will play the B in the left hand and then the thumb moves down in the right hand from the A flat to the F sharp. Pointer finger stays on the B and the ring finger goes on the E flat. Faster. 
if you go same rhythm all the way through to the end of the chorus. I'll just play the very last part of that and go straight into the second verse. Are we ready to be swept off our feet and stop chasing every breaking wave? same as we learned for the introduction in verse 1, all the way through verse 2, and then it's back into another chorus with the same chords all the way through as we just learned as well, and then it changes up after the second chorus, it'll move into a little bridge section, which I'll teach you now, so it moves from, and stop chasing. Is quite different. What that is, is an F sharp minor in the right hand, the chord, with an F sharp bass. So F sharp bass there. We have the thumb on the F sharp in the right hand, pointer finger on the A, and ring finger or whatever's comfy on the C sharp. So it's those three notes. Then we move up to the A that we were at before. straight back into the chorus after that. We know fear to win and so we end before we begin, before we begin. Straight back to the A. If you go. If you want to take it just a tiny bit further, in each of the choruses, Edge will play a nice little riff in the right hand um, and so will the strings and it's the guitar in the original version of the album, but it will uh, go like this. But if you're gonna put that in the chord sequence, we'll start off with the A, playing the A chord. If you go, then straight up. Then you can either start hitting the chords from there, which I do when I'm singing, because I find it hard to keep the rhythm otherwise. I find it much easier to play with just chords. playing the A chord and move the hand up nice and quickly to C sharp down to B then down to the A flat and then I move into the C sharp minor chord and play all of those notes individually with the C sharp in the bass so again if you go Stop chasing every breaking way. Every breaking way.
learned a lot of songs off YouTube on piano and guitar. I'm really thankful for those people who've made the tutorials, so I hope this has helped some of you. Um, if you liked it, subscribe, uh, leave a comment below, and uh, enjoy playing.